All right, everyone, welcome back to another Game Vault video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and we're going to talk about Dying Light 2 today. More specifically, Dying Light the Beast, which was announced recently. So let's cue to music and we'll get right to it. All right, so I haven't seen a lot of buzz about this yet. Dying Light the Beast, which is um, the second kind of DLC for Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Um, but we'll get into that in a minute here. But this is this was announced recently, and you know, it was a month or so ago, two months maybe. And it's, um, it's a standalone game that returns us to Kyle Crane, who was the uh, protagonist from the first Dying Light game and the following um, expansion, you know which was called the following. Um, and in the end of that, there was a can, there's a couple different possible endings, but in one of the endings, and I guess that's the ending they made canon, he became kind of like this uh, volatile himself. He, you know, he, he became the beast, which is kind of cool. So I guess this is picking up where that left off. And let's look at it a little, a little closer here. Um, so Techland states, did you see we just dropped at Gamescon uh, opening night live? If you missed it, Dying Light, the Beast is coming, and we will see the return of legendary hero Kyle Crane. Keep an eye out and be sure to wishlist the game to keep up to date. Get ready to unleash the Beast. Now, there is no... Um, here, we'll... The tracks lead this way. Stay here. Stand guard. On me. Bloody hell. Yeah, not going to lie, I'm a little excited about this one. So um, so going back to the original Dying Light, one of my favorite zombie games of all times. So I really, really, really enjoyed that game. Dying Light 2, not so much. Um, Dying Light, Techland supported that game for years and years afterward. There were some you know, little, little um, DLCs for it and stuff like that, some cool new things you could do. Um, a lot of skins and stuff like that, which is fun. Uh, there was a multiplayer mode, like a... I think there was a uh, what, what do they call it like where you could invade someone else's game as a volatile and stuff like that be the zombie i think they called it you know they really did a lot with that game and it was a lot of fun absolutely a lot of fun great story great character great setting haran was a fantastic city it was like this turkish city and you were in the slums and you were in the old town afterward had two major sections and then the following was the um expansion to it it took you out of a city where you did all this crazy parkour and jumping and all this verticality that it had, and it puts you out in farmlands. It was weird, man. It was a weird change of pace. But it gave you like a dune buggy, a, ve a vehicle, which was cool because you had no vehicles in Haran. So 
yeah, it was neat. It was really, really neat. So looking at this game, it looks like they kept a lot of that. I saw the vehicle driving. I saw I saw guns. There's firearms in here, which is cool, as well as it looks like throwing weapons, like throwing knives. And I think in one shot, we saw a guy with a pistol and a throwing knife, one in each hand. So that's a cool combination if you can do that. If you can have a throwing knife in your left hand and your pistol in your right, that's kind of badass. Maybe I saw that wrong, but I thought that's what I saw. Uh, I saw him hauling around a, a gas tank, you know, one of the little LP tanks. Good. That's something you could always do in Dying Light is use them as bombs and stuff. Um, and just driving, there's cars, which is cool. So this looks good. Dying Light 2 fell short, I think. I think it was... Um, I don't know where it fell short. You know, it's kind of a hard one because it had a lot of what the first Dying Light had. But it almost felt like it had too much sometimes. And um, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I can't put my finger on what makes me not want to go back to that game. Like, if, if you put both of those games in front of me right now and said, hey, play one, I would play the original Dying Light. It just felt more focused, more compact, a uh, lot more fun. You know, you, your progression was great and all that. Dying Light 2 just felt a little too big, a little too sprawling for what we were doing and there were so many side missions parkour missions this mission that mission i don't mind side missions in games i think they're great they're a fun way to flesh out your character and get little bits of lore about the the game that you're in and the story and the time and all that you know they're fun for that but they can really drag you down after a while if there's too many of them and i just i think that's one of the problems i had with dying light 2 whereas dying light had side missions but it didn't have so many i didn't feel overwhelmed you know, like I did in uh, Dying Light 2, I think. Um, and I think I just like the character so much better. You know, Kyle Crane was a lot of fun. Absolutely loved Kyle Crane. I loved the characters in that game. They were more likable, you know. Uh, and we had great, you know, great actors and some cool characters in Dying Light 2, but they just didn't have what Dying Light 1 had. So it's going to be nice to revisit um, Kyle Crane, and we will definitely revisit this game on the channel because dying light 2 was the first game i ever did a video on you know back when it came out and it was kind of like what i opened the channel with back then and oh god don't go back and watch it it's garbage but um it's um it'll be fun to kind of revisit this and it makes me want to revisit the original game and maybe give the second game another chance you know um i know this might anger some people that are really into dying light 2 and that wanted a second dlc for it and i get it if that's you I understand, man, because they promised, you know, when we pre-purchased the game, and this is a, this is why it's always sketchy to pre-purchase games, you know, pre-order games and all that, is because what happens when something like this happens, right? Technically, it's not a DLC for Dying Light 2, right? You're not continuing the story of Dying Light 2. You're not going back to Velador and all that. None of that. You're going to a totally new game, Kyle Crane. I imagine a whole new set of weapons and, and stuff like that, and armor and skills and everything you're gonna be starting over as a brand new character level one quote unquote and um so yeah i get it you know if you're frustrated about that or a little aggravated about that i think that's a valid valid um way to feel personally i like this because i like kyle crane so much so this doesn't bother me so much and that you know it's, it's funny because i've been wondering i've been like man it's been a while since the first expansion for dying light 2 and that first one was like a, a real disappointment. I mean, a real disappointment. I played a, a, like an hour of it, and I was like, eh. It's like arena fighting against humans. You know, I buy these games to fight zombies, not humans. You know, it's not Call of Duty. This is zombies, you know. This is Dying Light. I didn't want to fight humans. I don't mind having some in the mix. The first game had some. But this game, the second one, just seemed to have so many of them, and it just, you know, it got to be a little old after a while. So, yeah. This is what's happening. Um, so, anyway, they say, been eagerly anticipating info on DLC 2 for Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Get ready for Dying Light the Beast, a thrilling, or a new thrilling standalone zombie adventure. Kyle Crane, the protagonist of Dying Light, and Dying Light the following expansion is back and ready to be the hero once again. For more information, check out the dedicated product page and wish list the game today to keep it updated. So, And it will be there for no extra charge for the Ultimate Edition. So I'm wondering what it's going to cost on its own now it's not been announced a date or anything yet so you know as of the time we're filming this it's still not 
here's some cool screenshots from it. So, I, you know, yeah, we verified there's guns, handguns, melee weapons. I saw a bow. I saw what looked like a throwing knife. Of course, there's going to be parkour. You know, that's a cool looking variant zombie. And we saw in the trailer that big guy that came rushing out at the end. Pretty crazy looking. This is almost a horde like situation here. That's pretty creepy, man. So, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be hordes in here or what, but. I think it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'll give it a shot for sure. Techland, um, you know, I hope this is a win for you. I'd like to see Dying Light continue. Um, they're going to continue with their plan to do five years of support for the game. So we'll see more updates like they've been doing and all that, which is cool. Can appreciate that. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Let me know if you like uh, zombie games and games like Dying Light too, especially Dying Light. You know, Dying Light was a fun game. I'll catch you next time. Until then, peace.